Greetings everyone, it's Benevolent Bodhi here and in this short video we're going to take a look back at the first 100 days of the Endeavor system in the Elder Scrolls Online. If you are new to the Elder Scrolls Online or haven't played the Elder Scrolls Online in a while, let's quickly review the Endeavor system. Added shortly after the release of the Blackwood chapter, endeavors were introduced to provide ways to earn in-game currency to purchase items that were currently available only in the Crown Store for real money. Endeavors are daily and weekly activities you can complete to earn Seals of Endeavors. Seals of Endeavors are the currency that can be spent in the special version of the Crown Store to purchase items that are currently available the endeavors from the past 100 days could be grouped into 11 categories. These categories are Antiquities, Arena's Dungeons Trials, Crafting, Dark Brotherhood, Fashion, Hunting, Leger Domain, Player vs. Player, Questing, Selling, and Using and Consuming Items. Here is a breakdown of your daily and weekly endeavors by category. The most common daily endeavors were crafting, hunting, and PvP. The most common weekly endeavors were arenas, dungeons, and trials, PvP, and hunting quests. Here is the min-max summary. The daily endeavors ranged from 10 to 30 seals. Weekly endeavors range from 160 to 400. The lowest combined total for the daily and endeavors was 445. The best week, 700. Here are the most frequent daily endeavors that have appeared during the past 100 days. Here are your top three daily endeavors. Kill one player in Cyrodiil, was in first place with 17 times. In second place, it was complete one dungeon which appeared 15 times. And in third place, complete one battleground match appeared 14 times. Okay, let's take a look at the paywall analysis. So far, based on the first 100 days, 90% of the endeavors, both daily and weekly, could be done without any additional DLCs or chapters. Next, let's look at playstyle. While PvE dominated the top three frequency of endeavors, overall there were more PvE endeavors offered to players. The next four charts are the most interesting to most players. It shows the trends over time. The item that you want to look at the most is the black line that goes across the chart. This line will show if the endeavors are trending about the same, going up, or going down over time. The weekly endeavors were pretty pretty flat as far as trending goes, but when you look at the daily seal rewards, they are trending downwards. Here are the weekly summaries of the daily rewards, and they're also trending down. In this chart, we have combined the sum of all of the daily endeavors for the week and the weekly endeavor and as you can see it's also dropping. Finally, here are all of the rewards that you could have earned in the first 100 days. Were you able to earn them all? If so, great work! In summary, there's good news and there's bad news. The good news is that the majority of the endeavors that you can earn are not behind a paywall. Here's the bad news. Well. PvPers have fewer choices when it comes to earning endeavors based on their preferred playstyle. And the graphs are all trending downwards, which suggests that the number of seals rewarded for daily and weekly endeavors is decreasing over time, therefore making it take longer to obtain items from the Crown Store. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the information useful. If you didn't take notes, a full written guide is available on my website at benevolentbodhi.ca. All the details will be down in the description below. Until next time, be safe and keep playing video games.